Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's see. We have how many boys we have? Gabriel, Edgar, Giovanni, and Edwin. Four. Girls, Marcela, Johanna, Claudia, Sandra, Jocelyn. Perfect. Yes, I hear you. I can hear you, Giovanni. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Welcome one more time to our English class with Inglés Corporativo for pre-intermediate, pre-intermediate one. Okay, let's start with this game tonight. Um, this activity is last class we were talking about invitation or offering something we would would you like remember we were talking about would you Buena. like this would you yes. like to go huh? would you like si, etc so let's play this game there are some instructions here. For example, you have some cases you have to make a question like this. Would you like some apples? Or uh, sometimes you just have to respond the question. Would you like some bananas? And they say negative answer. And you respond, no, thank you. And other exercises are simple. Just ask you for these things. What is this or what is that? Uh, so let's play. Let me check, turn on the timer. Colorful grid, no penalty. And let's go to the quiz. Okay, one more time, team number one. Uh, our boys and team number two are girls. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Very yes. good. So let's start with boys. Okay, let me see if I can. <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. Is there a pencil here? Okay. Let's start with boys. So, number one, ready? Okay, you have 20 seconds. You have time running. Would you like some bananas? Negative answer. Boys, would you like some bananas? Answer, respond. I don't like bananas. Yeah, but that is not the way to respond question with would you like? I would like. I wouldn't. I would. I no, would. thank you. No, I wouldn't. No, thank you. Ah, what happened? No problem for boys. Okay, girls. Let's see. Ready, girls? Number two. Okay. I'm thirsty. Question with wood. Question with wood. Would you like thirsty? Oh, what um, is? Um, I like. I would like. Like a drink. Ah, maybe. Would you like a drink? Vamos a ver algo parecido. Well, would you like some juice? Or would you like a drink? Okay, it's good. Good. 
observe the picture also to respond, okay? But would you like a drink is a good question when somebody is thirsty. Cuando alguien está sediento. Okay. Okay, boys, ready? Number three is for you. Ah, very easy. What's this? This is a lemon. Ah, okay. Let's check. It's a lemon. Okay, good. Points for you, boys. It's a lemon. Number four is for ladies. Complete. Would you like... Would you like some apple? Ah, okay. Let's check. Oh. <laughs> you know what is the problem? When you say some, this must be plural. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you like some apples? But it's singular. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, it must be yes. an apple. Okay, sorry. Okay. okay, boys, number five is for you. Make a question using wood. Would you like uh, Coca-Cola? <laughs> Would you like Coca-Cola? Would you like soda? Let's check. Would you like... Uh, what can I say? Let let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> Why is we don't use a, ah, but we use some? Can you ah. tell me? Why we don't say, would you like a ah, soda? Is a non counter Ooh. Yes, it's a okay. non count noun. Okay, so some soda some. is the correct form. Okay, then oops. Number six is for girls. Affirmative answer Would you like some water? Yes, I would like it. Yes, I would like water. Some water. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. It's okay. Yes, I would like some water. It's okay. Good. Okay, boys. I'm hungry. Question with wood. Boys. Would you like uh, tomorrow? Okay, would you like a tomato? Let's check. Um, we can use a because tomato is count noun. Okay. The, the picture is plural, but that, that's okay. The picture is shows two plural tomatoes. But that's okay. We can say a tomato or some tomatoes. Okay. Okay, girls, number eight. Make a question using wood. Girls? Would you like some cheese? Some bread. Uh -huh. Bread. Ah, okay. Would you like some bread? Yes. Okay, perfect. Look at the score. Team 130, team 245. Okay, boys, your turn. Complete the question. Would you like some egg? eggs? Ah, eggs, good. Perfect. Would you like some eggs? Okay. Ladies, number 10 is for you. 
Oh, very easy. Fish. It's a fish. Okay. It's fish. It's What's fish. this? It's fish. Okay. It's fish. Uh, be careful. Fish, <laughs> let me ask you. Fish is cow noun or non cow noun? Cow noun. Cow noun. Cow noun? Yes, cow noun. Yes. Well, when you talk about a, a type of food, mm -hmm. when you talk about a fish like food, we don't use uh, it's a non cow noun. Yeah. But when you talk about one particular animal or one particular yeah. So you can you can hear fish like a uh, cow noun. Pero como un tipo de, de carnes, digámoslo así, what kind of meat? So we have chicken, beef, fish. So es un nombre no contable. Por eso es que aquí no se usa a fish. Eh, es como si yo les pregunto, ¿quieren pescado para comer? ¿Verdad? No les digo quieren un pescado. ¿Ya? Cuando me estoy refiriendo a un tipo de alimento. So, en ese sentido es un non cow noun. But that's okay. It's, la pregunta era, ¿qué es esto? No, it, it's fish. Okay, next. Boys. Question. Would you... Would you like some milk? Milk. Okay, let's check. Perfect. Some milk. Some milk. Okay. Because it's non cow noun. Okay, girls, number 12 is for you. Ah, easy. Some question, girls. Would you like to like some apple? Would you like some apple? Would you like some apple? An oh. apple. So the question is with some. Okay, some apples. Some apples. Okay. The score right now is team one, boys, 60. Team two, girls, 75. The last question for boys. Oh, well, very easy. What's this? Mango. A mango. It's a mango. Okay. Mangoes. And 14. Well, right now you are even. You are tied. Girls, you can win if you respond correctly this. Complete. Would you like some grapes? Some grapes. Some grapes. Okay, let's check. Yes, perfect. Would you like some grapes? Very good. Congratulations, ladies. You win. 90 points. Okay, perfect. Now let me close this and let's start with our topic for tonight. Let me see. Last class, we finished with this reading. Well, actually, we didn't read it, so I just told you to do it. So let's read this article about Cristina Aguilera. And then I want you to check these statements true or false. Uh, uh, according to the information in this 
short biography of Cristina Aguilera. So I'm gonna send you to small groups to read the article and to complete with true or false these statements, okay? Okay. Right. Let me create four groups. I will give you seven minutes for this. Join the groups, read the article, and respond with true or false. See you in seven minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, quickly, let's check. The first statement says, uh, only young people like Cristina Aguilera. Is that true or false? False. False, why? Because, um, because she born in ninety eight. Because she has fun all of ages. Ah, yes. The article says that she has fans of all ages around the world. Good. Next, Christina was born in 1970. False. 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 She was born in 1980. Yes. Three, in 1992, she was on TV with Justin Bieber. False. 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 Why? He was... Okay. Four. Genie in a bottle was her last big hit. False. 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 Why? False. It her first was the was it the first one. First. Ah, okay. Good. Next, she performed at the opening of the Winter Olympic Games in Utah. False. false. That's Why? false. It's false. She because false. she closed close in the ceremony, ceremony. for the winter. Okay, close. the closing ceremony. Next, she toured Japan in 1994. True. That's true, sir. True. true. Next, she won a Grammy with All I Wanna Do. False. False. Why? She won a Grammy. A Grammy. It's she beautiful. With beautiful. Ah, okay, good. Uh, she has never worked for Disney. Oh. False. 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 Why? When she did she work for Disney? She worked. She worked in Disney. TV. Was in Disney. In Mickey uh, Mouse, in, in TV, Disney, Mickey Mouse Club. Ah, okay. And she recorded Lady Marmalade for Mulan Roche in 2001. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. true. That's true. And finally, do you like Christina Aguilera's music? Yes. 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 I don't, yes, I don't like so much. Like, I don't like. Okay. Who doesn't like Christina Aguilera? Uh, ah. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just one. Wow. <laughs> Any question? No. 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 Perfect. No. Let's move on now to. A video to start unit five. So let me share the screen because we are going to watch video and then we are going to talk about it. so watch the video for a moment. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? 
He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, well, let's read this, the first part of the conversation. And uh, to practice, to practice the pronunciation, okay, to practice the intonation for this conversation. Um, and yeah, in March, this Okay, repeat after me, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not sure. sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife, He's a wildlife, wildlife photographer. photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? What, what, a, what an interesting, interesting family. family. Can, Can I meet, meet them? them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Oh, no. no, my sister is not working in the United States. And your brother? And uh, your, your brother? brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, very good. Now I am Rita and you are Sue. Okay? Okay. 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 Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, well, well my I sister works for the Oh, what does she do? I'm, I'm not sure. sure. I'm not sure. She works in the very right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He is wife. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Good. Now, uh, you are Rita and I am Sue. So you begin. One, two, three. Tell me about your brother. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Whoa. Uh -huh. um, what about your brother? 
sister. Your brother. brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting thing. Uh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And, and your, your brother? 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 He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, any question with this conversation? No. 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 Okay. Just let me point to some sentences that we are about the grammar we are working later. Okay, first, she's working on a very secret project. When? Right now. Right now. And the other is, she's not working in the United States this month. Okay, she's not working in the United States this month. Good. Now, uh, I have some statements again about this conversation to work quickly to check your comprehension, okay? First, Rita's sister works for the government. Is that true or false? True. 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 Okay. Let me check. True. Sue's sister works on a secret project. It's true. It's true. 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 Are you sure the first one is true? No, no, the, no, the first is false. Ah, why? Because because uh, Sue the sister of of Sue works in the secret for for the government. Okay, Sue's sister. Sue's Sue's, uh, Sue's, Sue's sister. sister. What happened? What is wildlife? Yeah, vida salvaje. Wildlife. Muy bien. Thanks for responding okay next sue's brother is a fashion photographer false 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 oh false why because he's a wildlife photographer a wildlife photographer good next sue's sister is working abroad this month False. False? What is the meaning of abroad? What is the meaning of abroad? Is, uh -huh. she's, abroad. she's working about a uh, secret project. Aha, uh -huh. so you are asking for the meaning of abroad. Okay. For example, my father, if I say my father lives in Mexico, he lives abroad. I am in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. Abroad. So far. So Sue's sister is working abroad this month. Is true or false? True. Because it's true. She is not working at a United States. Uh huh. So. It is true. She's working abroad in another country. And the last one, Sue's brother is traveling in the Amazon. True. true. That's true. true. It is true. Okay. Perfect. Any question? No. No question. No. Very good. Okay, we have another video for the, the grammar topic, which is uh, the present continuous. Pay attention, please, to this video, and then we'll talk about it.
Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in our discussion box. Okay. Uh, talking about present continuous, right? So we use present continuous for actions taking place in the moment. Let me show you here. actions that are, are happening right now or in the moment. For example, the affirmative sentences. So we have this. I am eating. You are crying. He is going. She is arriving. It is sleeping. We are leaving. They are arguing. Uh, it's important that you check or uh, take a look at the form, okay? Observe the form of the structure. So we we'll always use the subject first for affirmative statements, then the verb be, and the, the verb for the sentence with the in um, ing form okay so this is how we form the present continuous affirmative sentences in negative sentences we only switch the order between the subject and to be we switch the order we we'll first write the verb be. Look, am, um, are, is, is, are. And later, the subject. I. Mm, yeah, you. He. She. It. We and they. Okay, this is the order for negative, oh, I'm sorry, yes, no questions, okay? For WH questions, we basically 
add the information for the WH word. Yeah, WH word. What, why, where, when, 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 why. Next, the verb be um, are, is, is, you see. Yeah, the verb be. And finally, oh, no, no, finally. Then the subject, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and the verb in the ing form. And the negative form to basically add not. Look, I am eating, negative, I am not eating. You are crying, you are not crying. And this is the negative form. Any question here with the, the structure for present continuous? Hello? Hello. No questions? No questions, sir. No, no questions. Okay, let's see. I have an exercise for you here. You have this in WhatsApp already. To complete the sentences using the correct form of B and a verb. Okay. Um, let me. No, you don't have a verb here. Let me give you a verb for each exercise. Example. For this one, you can use the verb teach. Here, use the verb wait. Here, use the verb play. Uh, Here you can use the verb rain. Here eat. Here you can use the verb water. Um here go. Here Uh, use sleep. Here, use the verb work. Oh no. Use the word clean. Uh, drink. Okay. Walking. What? Walking. Walk. Walk. Okay. Mm. Play. Uh, no. Let's use win. Here. Answer. Answer. Here. Uh, let's say read. And here, right. Okay. Okay. Let me. I'm going to send this to WhatsApp with the verbs.
Oh, come on. Okay, now you have you have the exercise in WhatsApp. With the verbs. Oops. Be careful, drink some water. Sahara. Sahara. <laughs> drink some juice. Drink some juice. <laughs> Okay, you have the exercise in WhatsApp to, to work on, on that. Uh, it's 10 o'clock right now, so you can do it at home. You can do it later, you can do it tomorrow. And we are going to check it uh, tomorrow's class. Okay. All right? All right, sir. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks for attending tonight's class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank Remember you. to complete the I'm exercises nice from, from the platform. And we are we are finishing this module um, tomorrow. Tomorrow? tomorrow? <laughs> this is only four weeks. <laughs> only four weeks. I this don't month. remember. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I, I, I have to ask. <laughs> but I, I guess so. It's yes. only four weeks. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, sir.